hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today i am building a spanish colonial style villa uh, it's a i believe it's a five bedroom four bedroom house the downstairs it has the master suite as well as a little office area um i just put like the kids office or like the main office downstairs However, you can definitely turn it into a bedroom because there's a full bathroom um, downstairs besides the master bathroom. And I am sorry for this part being 30 minutes long. It was basically nine hours of footage and I somehow miraculously made it into a 30 minute video. And that's like, I didn't want to make it too fast so then like it'll hurt people's heads and stuff. So yeah, this house was inspired uh, from, again, the website that I used to do the builds, but uh, all the colors, I actually used the Jungle Cruise, the not Jungle Cruise, the Jungle, Jungle Adventure Pack. I use a lot of like the flooring and the, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, my mic just fell. Um, I use a lot of like the flooring and um, wallpaper it's super like like the stucco and stuff I use a lot of that and <clears throat> sorry excuse me I got something in my throat um, and then this one does have like a little garage you can always turn the little garage into more bedrooms if you like but this house has plenty of rooms for a family and of course like always there is a story that goes with this um when i like built this house i thought it was um like parents maybe who moved from salvadorina and they saw this house and they wanted to move like to the states i guess but they wanted it you know something that's kind of like familiar and like this house is very similar to the one that they left in Salvadorina and um, they brought their two girls with them of course um, they're two twin girls um, and yeah that's 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 pretty much the story so it's really colorful uh, really bright on the inside it's definitely different colors than what I normally use um, and I actually really uh, enjoyed making a big build However, on my Instagram, I did get a request for it to make more family homes and a starter, a starter family home, which I've been meaning to get to that. So I was going to do another big house, a uh, big build, uh, but I think I'm just going to do a family home for the next build, for the next couple of builds. Um, I'm, well, the next one, oh, sorry guys, my phone just rang. The next one is going to be a, um, well, the next one that I want to do is a two-story uh, affordable base game house. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, it won't be as clutter, clutterful, that's not a word, but it won't be as clutterful as I like them to be, but I've been meaning to build a starter home um base game like an actual base game starter home um i really want to use at least one pack though at least one other one um so i don't know which one since it's a family home i'll probably use the parenthood pack the little um curfew board that's probably the only pack that i'll use and yeah so uh, yeah, so let me know on my Instagram, uh, Bubbly Simi, if you have any requests for what kind of homes. Um, and I'll definitely try to build those kinds of homes. So yeah, this is like the, t I use tiling floor. I asked my mom like <laughs> what kind of flooring they have and she said tile, like more mainly tile. But I did do the bedrooms with the hardwood. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing, I think the color does change. I don't think it's that dark of a yellow, but I don't show it because this house is pretty big. It's a pretty big build and I was actually surprised by, by like how well it turned out. I try not to make it too big, like the rooms, I try to make the rooms not as big. So hopefully you guys enjoy this build, even though it's 30 minutes long. I know I'm so sorry. I try to keep it under 20, but if I speed it up even more, it like gives people headaches. And it has a really cool like arch, archway uh, hallway right there. Um, so yeah, I really like this part. I just 
yeah <laughs> and then the kitchen's in the back the kitchen is really big and it has a little nook area like a breakfast nook so um your sim will have plenty of like space in the front right there um this room is actually the dining room so it is actually separated from the main area and then downstairs i did not put a tv so that will be upstairs in like the little loft gaming slash gaming room area for the family and this is like a formal like living area so if you have sims um you like come down here during christmas and celebrate christmas down here without like the distraction of a tv or something you know so yeah i'm just working on the lighting like i said a lot of like the pack that i use a lot in this build is from the jungle adventure pack because i felt like it actually fit with the build like it was called like all the colors and all the flooring was like calling my name to be put into this house and yeah so if you guys have this um it'll look like a really good house I, but i'm sure you can download it um on the gallery under bubbly simi and it'll replace it with other things that you have like in gate base game <clears throat> i'm so sorry i'm going to drink some water i don't know why my throat really hurts i mean it's like really like i don't know it's gross <laughs> So yeah, um, that room that I'm working on right now, it's actually a guest bedroom. So it's going to be really, really plain. It's going to be a really plain, like, guest bedroom and bathroom. Uh, and these two, those two rooms in the back are the girls' rooms. And it's actually open from the top, so you can see, like, the dining room pretty much. Um, so yeah, and then I did, like, the little arch thingy. Um, to pop to make the window pop out. Um, I think it looks really nice like that And then I did a laundry room and then the, that little room in the middle is actually like a filler room um, So you again you can change it to pretty much however you like but I just uh, I hate having like the rooms be too big uh, So I wanted to make it like pretty compact um <clears throat> And then the hallway right there next to the kitchen actually turns like into like pets area so i have like the feeding bowls and the newspapers there and stuff so yeah and this is my white kitchen um i did like a little island and then i did um the little bar not it's not a bar area but it's like a breakfast bar i guess i'll call it that um right there i think your sims can get around there i'm not sure i didn't really test it but yeah, this kitchen is pretty big. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. It's a really big kitchen. Um, but it looks nice. I think it fits the house very well. And I really like the red or orange color uh, tile paper there. I do change them into white. I was gonna keep them like a different color, but I think the white looked a little bit better. So I just kept the white. Um, and then it's a really fancy kitchen. It's like two stoves and like, you know has like the coffee grinder and the espresso machine and stuff like that it has two sinks as well and it has like a little breakfast nook here um yeah i really like this kitchen actually um when i saw the pictures at the end i was like oh man this house is so pa like so colorful i love it i've never i've never had like such a colorful house before i've never made one like that before so and the back does have a veranda but there's not much room in the yard uh so if you can find this this build is in oasis springs where all the um man like the spanish style mansions are <coughs> and i'm sorry <laughs> and um yeah it's not there's no there's not much of a yard um but there's a veranda in the back and it has like a barbecue area as well I really love those rugs from that pack. They're so colorful. I love it. <laughs> I did go crazy with colors in this build. Even like the master bedroom has the most colorful, like the curtains and stuff are all red and it's super nice. Um, and if you want to download this house, it will be up on the gallery under Bubbly Simi. It is a pretty pricey home. It's like 126 um, <laughs> simoleons. So see it's a little pricey uh i think the next the next few builds that i do build will be in like 
a starter or starter area or lower area um i just gotta hold back on the clutter <laughs> that's what i have to do because it's like it's super super expensive if i don't and then this is the master bat bathroom there i think i start on the downstairs bathroom first i had a hard time like figure like even when I was taking the pictures, I always wanted to be like a flow, you know, like going through the house. Um, I don't take pictures of the hallways, of course, but I always want to go through like a nice little flow. Um, so I'm not sure if I, I don't know. You, you'll guys see, we'll see. Stick to the end to look at the final pictures of the build. Um, yeah, of course I will post this on, um, usually on Instagram I do like little short videos of like the outside pretty much <laughs> excuse me that's gonna be the little laundry room i just love the laundry pack like i feel like it makes my build so much more realistic with adding like a laundry room i know not all houses have laundry rooms but like what i've been looking like all the like the reference pictures that i look at they all have a laundry room so <laughs> yeah um i do use Oh, I love these. I've never seen these before, but I love them as like the little corner windows for the nook. I don't know. I just love it. And then, <clears throat> yeah, like the build that I had that I was basing this on had like, I don't know. It was a really cool like picture to look at if you want to see it. It'll be on my Instagram, like comparing like what I, what I, ins what inspired me the build to do the build and then what it actually looks like. So. And then I did to add like one computer and then a little tablet. So for like your sims and stuff. Um, but yeah. So how's your guys' day today? I don't know like what to say for 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I want to visit one of these houses. I want to go to Spain. That'd be so cool. Like my grandpa, apparently my grandpa's dad was from Spain. And I didn't know this until like, you know, he passed away. Um, but I was like, that's so cool. Like, I want to go to Spain. Like, I want to see part of, you know, like my... You know, part of my story, everybody has a story. Everybody has a story in the Sims. Like, if you, I know, like a lot of people, they play it for storytelling. But we all have our story in real life, you know? We all have different backgrounds and we all come from different places. And I kind of, like, I want to know. I want to get out and travel and find out. But unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> but, which is why I love The Sims. Like you get to explore different stories all the time. And every time I do a build, that's what I think of. I dig uh, different people, like different stories. Um, again, I was gonna do the family for this house, but my computer gets really slow. I did this part, I recorded this part in three days. And then <laughs> over the weekend, I slept over at my boyfriend's house and I edited it, but I couldn't, you know, record the audio. So it's actually a late video. And I apologize about that if you all were waiting for it. Um, um, but yeah, I changed, decided to change the beds because I thought this were, these were more kid friendly and I like that they had like different colors and stuff like that. Like this one, she's going to be into animals and into like, you know, astronaut stuff and, you know, I kind of wanted to make a lit, make it a little bit cutesy and very innocent and then I, not cutesy, that's the other one, I'm sorry. It's like a little bit of tomboy, a little bit of like a science nerd. Um, and then the other one's like super cutesy, like super pink and, well not super pink, but really pink, a lot of pink in that room. Um, so yeah, I wanted each girl, even though they're twins, they're all, like they're both, they're different. So I wanted to make it like a different room that reflects their personality. Again, I really wanted to like make the creative sims for them, but um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Computer, my computer, I swear. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting a little bit distracted. 
So yeah, um, the master, master, the guest bathroom is pretty plain. It's just, you know, a shower and stuff like that. Um, I didn't really add much to it because you know how if you go to a house with like a guest bathroom and a guest room, it's like, you know, it's just for your guests. So you just want minimal um, furniture in there. You don't want to crowd it out. You want your guests to feel welcome, which is what I did with this room. It's not like crowded or anything it's just a bed and some lights and yeah like a little book that's it i do put like a picture in there at the end i think but this is the game room slash tv area so there's a big screen and there's gonna be um maybe i think i put like a chess board and the darts um and then that thing i don't know what that thing is called <laughs> Um, the foosball thing? Yeah, I put the foosball in there. I got distracted again. Every time I build, I always get distracted to put little things here and there. A little bit of bits and bobs here and there. Um, but yeah. Again, I, I use my favorite couch again. <laughs> I love that couch. Like, I really love that couch. Um, and then yeah, so this is like the area where the family can hang out and like do activities because downstairs, like I said, it literally is just like the sofas and a fireplace. And I do show you where you could pause, like potentially put the Christmas tree for the Christmas if you have seasons. Um, I know that there's been a lot of problems with like the game being all messed up and I want I wonder if that's because of seasons and it sucks because seasons is such a good like you know it's such a good pack to have because it adds on a lot to your gameplay but it's been like glitchy ever since so <laughs> that really sucks it's like give or take I guess um but yeah I'm gonna work on the master suite here I do put like a couch and I really, I've never, a couch, I'm sorry, I, the rug. I've never actually noticed that rug before until I used this one. Um, but yeah, it's like super cute and super colorful and I love it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I did like, I put like a little, oh, this house is full of plants. Like I did so many plants. I got that inspiration for Pixelade. Um, he remodeled a house for his Let's Play, the Seasons one, and he had like a bunch of plants like fill the house and it looked really, really nice. So that inspired me to put like a bunch of plants into this build just to add like a little bit more detail into the build. And I did and it looked, it looks really nice actually. So thank you Pixelade if you are watching. I really love his channel. If you guys have not checked him out, he is awesome at storytelling like his um i don't even know oh i found him because he was like giving out information about seasons like he not giving out recording information like on the seasons when seasons was coming out and then i just clicked on his channel and just started following him <laughs> um and he's awesome <laughs> he's really cool and I really love his season let's play and I'm hoping that it um, goes for a second season and I cannot wait to watch any more of uh, uh, oh my god I'm sorry I cannot speak cannot wait to watch more of his let's plays because so far I've only seen the seasons one but yeah if you guys have not checked him out please do it's under pixelate again his channel um yeah he's really awesome <clears throat> sorry i cannot speak today i went to um smorgasbord in la and i was out in the sun all day and i'm so tired <laughs> i really am i'm really sorry um and i do put a lot of details into like this little garage to make it kind of like run down of course and i put the flower um arrangement thing um, in here just because there's not a lot of room outside So I wanted to add kind of like that so I just not a greenhouse, but if your sim wants to like do be a f I don't know what they're called the flowery florist. I, wanna, I don't think they're called florists, but if they want to do that for their career They can uh, practice here and I feel like the mom like in my imaginary story <laughs> the mom will 
definitely be doing that just because she wants to stay busy like her husband is probably really successful and stuff like that so yeah that's just the story i really want to play one of these days i haven't actually played but i would like to play one of my stories and record it for you all and tell you guys the stories and channel pixelate and his drama making channel <laughs> um but yeah um, I am adding the little details. I love these little plates. I've never actually seen them. I think they're from the Parenthood um, pack. And I actually put them in the hallway. Kind of like the plates from like the daughters maybe or something like that. Um, but yeah, I really love like little details like the salt and pepper shaker and stuff like that. And again, I use a lot of like the jungle and adventure furniture. So I use some of this. I feel like it really fits the build. Like, I don't know, just it makes the build like the house look what it's like supposed to be looking like. I don't know. <laughs> I'm I have no idea what I am talking about. But yeah, I feel like that like this pack is perfect for these kind of homes so if you if you're like a builder and you want to build like spanish style homes i definitely suggest getting the jungle adventure pack because there's so much that you can do with this and i feel like all the decorative items definitely added to this home so i really hope you all download it even though it's 127 simoleons <laughs> i hope the gallery is working <clears throat> I heard that there were some issues with the gallery. Um, I haven't really been on the gallery since I've been away this weekend, um, but I noticed that like my house, the last house that I built did not get anything. So I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I was getting a little discouraged, but after reviewing like, oh, that's where you can put the tree, like right there. I, I left that in there so you guys could have like a little sneaky peek of where you could put the Christmas tree uh, if you have seasons and I would love to see this house in gameplay for the holidays like Christmas and um, New Year's like New Year's Eve party like have like a nice dinner party there since the kitchen is connected to the dining room and stuff like that um, but yeah I don't know <clears throat> guys i wish i could do gameplay i really do i was thinking of getting oh okay well i was thinking of getting a pc but then i really love max but i feel like if i get a mac and i have it for a while then it's gonna come with the same problems but i don't know i feel like max for me they're a little bit easier to use um because I've had this Mac for I think like 10 years so for me it just feels a little bit like user friendly than PCs but I know PCs you, you could change like the video card and make your computer run faster so that's what's like I don't know I'm kind of debating so maybe I don't know if you all, all have any experience with Mac and The Sims I mean it's not like The Sims is such a hard you know like a like such a powerful game to like run but apparently it is for this old computer so i don't know you all let me know in the comments below what you think i should do <laughs> um should i get a mac or should i get a pc so yeah i don't know i'm just adding a little bit of details here and there um this is where the pets go um i want like a cat and like a dog i feel like this family like the mom is obviously the boss, but like the dad maybe put <laughs> put his foot down. It was like, no, I really want a dog. So he got a dog and the mom was like, well, I'm getting a cat. So deal. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's what I think about when I like think of these things. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just adding like little decorative or um, little clutter items here and there uh, from the family home I probably won't be adding as much so um, it might be a little bit bare um, I'll see what I can do I'm gonna definitely keep an eye on the budget for the next couple of builds there is one that I really want to build it's like a blue house but it's a two-story and I want to do like a greenhouse and I want to make it like super big and nice so I don't know we'll see um but yeah i'm almost done here like i said just adding like little posters and stuff for the girl's personality i kind of wanted to make this room pop a little i really wanted to use these lights for the, the um 
this area here i know like it's not possible to turn off the lights and watch a movie like i mean i guess you can do it but i always have it on auto light so every time i put a sim in there the lights are turned on but i think that would be nice if you could turn off like the main lights and have the sparkly lights out so and then i put this over this like i don't know what that's called just to bring a little bit of life <laughs> and like i said i'm just adding some few bits and bobs so go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the little bell if you want to see more builds uh if you want to see when i come out with more builds go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you want to follow me on social media my instagram is bubby simmy and then my twitter is bubbly simmy i'm actually thinking of starting to use snapchat for my videos as well but i'm not sure if you all follow you all let me know what you think um again this video will be up on the i mean this video this build will be up on the gallery under bubbly simmy and yeah thank you all so much for watching have a bubbly day